Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an empty house tour. This video was recorded back in July 2020 when we bought the house. But due to poor audio quality, I was in two minds about using it. The area was still under heavy construction, so there was a lot of noise in the video, so hence the voiceover. It's an amazing feeling collecting the keys to your new home. After years of saving, we found ourselves walking into our first home. Ideally, it should have started with the developers giving us a tour of the house, explaining how everything worked. But due to COVID-19, they couldn't do that. I plan to make a before and after video once it is fully furnished, so keep an eye out for that. Houses in the UK are particularly built for a family of four in mind, unlike in Nigeria where houses are quite large. Space is a commodity in the UK. As you can see, we have lovely wooden floors from the hallway to the kitchen, very plain white walls too which gives you the option to repaint or put up wallpaper. French patio doors leading out to the garden area. This allows in lots of light, which is fantastic for the summer. The developers left us some welcome bits, which was quite nice. In the pack were operational manuals to help us understand how everything works in the house. They gifted us two cute mugs tea and coffee with some cakes and biscuits yeah the cake had brandy in it that's why i looked surprised it tasted quite nice to be honest considering you've just taken out a huge mortgage on their property it's the least they can do to welcome new homeowners to be fair the wooden box contained all the doors and window keys so yeah basically it's the box of keys although when we moved in we realized not all the keys were included which was a bit worrying. I really loved the flowers matching my pink jacket which was a nice surprise. They were very beautiful flowers. Honestly, one of the best things about the house is storage space. We also have space in the loft we haven't even touched. Yes, they left us a bottle of wine in the fridge as well. The house comes with a 10 year warranty for the structure and a 2 year warranty for the appliances, which means if anything needed fixing in the first 2 years, they will come around and fix it. The cabinets have a clean cut look. I love the glossy grey finish along with the fact that the dining area is separate from the living room. So moving on, next is the lounge. I love the fact that the lounge is separate from the kitchen, like I said earlier, keeping all that food smells in the kitchen. Yeah, the lounge is a decent size, I am quite pleased and I cannot wait to show you the finished look. So we move on to the next space which is the visitor's toilet. Very plain at the moment, good size as well. Here we have storage under the stairs. I'm sure we will put that space to really good use. Going upstairs, it will be interesting to see what we could do with the walls. I have got quite a lot of ideas in my head. Let me know if you have any ideas. I like to keep things simple but elegant. We start off with the double bedroom. This is going to be our guest bedroom for when friends and family visit. We plan to have a wardrobe installed. This room also has additional storage here, which is ideal for a room of this size. We moved the third bedroom, which is the smallest. This room can contain a single bed, a small wardrobe and a study desk. At the moment, it's my husband's office as he is working from home. So yeah, that's the plan for this one. So moving on, we come to the master bedroom. A king size bed can fit in perfectly. We are still deciding whether to repaint or not. 
It has a wardrobe space, an area for my dressing table. It has an ensuite bathroom, nice wooden floor, lovely towels all the way to the top. I can't wait to finish decorating our bedroom. Here is the family bathroom. It contains a bathtub but no shower, which is something we hope to add. We plan to also take the tiling all the way to the ceiling. As typical with new builds, all bathrooms have built-in extractor fans. Again, a very decent sized bathroom. So as stated earlier, houses in the UK are not very massive, but this is a decent sized property. I particularly love the area so much. That's another video to look out for. And if you're looking to buy a new build, I suggest to check out a couple before settling. I will be doing another video talking about the processes we went through to buy this property. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe. Until my next one. Bye.